I'm looking for an axe handle. I wanted to use some Bodark or Osage Orange Wood, and I have this tree that I've found a while back. And I don't I have a piece of drying, but I want to use that for some bows. So I'm looking for a dry piece, and I saw this limb right here. And it looks like it's going to be big enough and straight enough to get an axe handle out of. It looks dead and dry. So I'm going to try to climb up there. It's up on this little ledge. Try to get up there and uh, take a look at it and see if it's rotted or if it's in good shape. We'll find out. My piece I'm looking at, and it's definitely been dead for a while. It's kind of rotten a little bit on the outside, but this boat arc is supposed to last forever. I used to make fence posts out of it and stuff because it lasts a long time and you can see where the bark's peeling off along there but I mean even on this base if there's a good solid wood I only need this much right here so I think it'll work and just cutting this one dead limb out it's not going to do anything to the tree and it's been standing dead for no telling how long so it's probably nice and dry so this piece is probably about perfect so when I get a chance I'm going to come down just cut this limb off and uh, I'll probably be able to just pull it down a little bit, cut the top off. All right, so here's our limb. Looks like it's pretty dead. Might be rotted a little bit on the outside, but hopefully there's some good wood still in there. Should be. So I'm gonna try to clear out some of this little stuff and then uh, we'll cut her out of there, hopefully. That wood looks pretty good in there. If you can see that. Pretty solid. So now it's gotta get this thing out. Split. Okay, 
through here. Probably cut her off right here. All right, so I'm gonna make my handle about 36 inches. And so I'll probably need about 40 inches. Um, and that's about where that twist starts. It twists pretty good right there. So I'll cut it off about probably 42 and uh, see if I can get a handle out of this piece. That actually looks good, I think. Something like that. I could probably get a handle right there. It might have to be more like this. I think it'll work.
So here's our double bed axe head. I'm going to start cleaning up on this side. I'm going to have to see if I can get that little notch out of there. This side's actually not too bad. So I'm going to start with the just the grinding disc, see if I can get that reshaped a little bit. Then I'll take the flap wheel, clean it all up, and uh, then I'll start sharpening it. Alright, so I just did a test fitting. Uh, you can see where it's digging in right here. So I'm going to do a little more sanding right around in here. Other than that, it's pretty good. Then I'm going to cut my slot for my wedge. And uh, we'll get this head seated on here. Alright, so I'm just going to cut a slot right there to fit the wedge into. if it fits this uh... not perfect but it fit decent Let's see if we can get it to pull up some more That's pretty good. It's cutting in. It's not perfect, but it's seen pretty good on that side. All right, so just made this wedge out of a piece of uh, walnut. Just took me I don't know, ten minutes to make it. Put it in there. I'll beat it down in there and uh, then we'll put our little wedges, our little keepers in there and uh, put some boiled linseed oil on it, some kind of oil and uh, call, it, call it good. Looks like it's seated pretty good. That was nice. Yeah, it's in there pretty good. You can see those teeth are biting in on both sides pretty good. I've got some cylinder wedges. I'm just gonna stick one single smaller wedge in there. I've already got a wood wedge in there. I'm just gonna stick that single cylinder wedge in there and uh, we'll just add some oil and be done. Got our wedge stuck in there. Now I just gotta do the final shaping, sharpen it, add some boiled linseed oil, and we're good to go. So we're just gonna take a little boiled linseed oil and put that on a rag. Give it a good coating of that. I'm just hitting it, hitting it real light with this file. Already shaped the edge earlier with the angle grinder, so I'm just work on getting a good 
edge started there and then I'll move to a sharpening stone and then uh, move to a leather strop probably but it's looking pretty good we got both sides sharpened up I went a little thinner on this side a little bit sharper of a bevel a little bit wider on this side for like splitting um, yeah I think it turned out good for a four dollar axe head and a limb off of a tree it's a little bit twisted but looks good see how it works So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I just took this old bevel bit axe head I found at a like an antique store, flea market, whatever. It's four bucks. Cleaned it up a little bit. Still got some pitting in it, but looks pretty good. Um, cut this handle off of a Osage orange or Bodark tree made it um, pretty easy worked out pretty good let's gonna do it see you next time